So what do you use and, and when do you actually create cortisol in the body? Well, anytime that you do have an emotional upset, maybe some type of a, a hard time at work or with a spouse or with friends or whatever, you're going to utilize that stress hormone cortisol. What's also going to happen also if you have any infections or maybe even toxicities or maybe even deficiency areas, any number of stresses can be emotional because when you think about uh, somebody says, well, you know, I'm having some kind of stress today. They think about the emotional things, right? But the reality of it is, is that any physical stress that we encounter is also a stress on the system. Even a fall. I mean, I've seen, I've seen patients that have actually, they've had a physical fall and it has affected their immune system. And there, it actually it kind of aggravated and turned on a rheumatoid arthritis flare because of a fall. It increased all the different inflammatory markers in their body because of that stress event. Also, because of the different stresses that go on here, yes, it could be physical um, assault or a fall and kind of traumatic event there. But also any of these stresses I'm just talking about, I took, didn't even say allergies. That could be another stress event. Those can also affect your GI tract right? Of course, that can affect that. Uh, so many times, um, your stress hormones can also affect your, your heart and also blood pressure kind of, of involvement. Uh, we know that, that your cortisol has an effect on the entire body. And so 100%, these stress events that you have on a regular basis can sort of deplete your reserves, your ability to maintain multiple different systems throughout the body. I'm only hitting a few here today. 